at this tape for you last time. We were surprised by it. We prefaced it by saying every conservative appreciates Ted Cruz because he's one of the smartest and most articulate people in the Congress, and he's conservative. But he referred publicly to what happened on January 6th as quote a violent terror attack. Here it is. Uh, we are approaching a solemn anniversary this week, uh, and it is an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol where we saw the men and women of law enforcement demonstrate incredible courage, incredible bravery, uh, risk their lives uh, to defend the men and women who serve in this Capitol. Senator Cruz was game enough to come on tonight. We appreciate that. He joins us now. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. So I guess what I, I mean, there are a lot of dumb people in the Congress. You're not one of them. I think you're smarter than I am. Uh, and you never use words carelessly. Um, and yet you called this a terror attack when by no definition was it a terror attack. That's a lie. You told that lie on purpose. And I'm wondering why you did. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me on. When you aired your episode last night, I, I sent you a text shortly thereafter and said, listen, I'd like to go on because uh, the way I phrased things yesterday, it, it was sloppy and, and it was frankly dumb. And, I don't and buy that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. I don't buy that. For, look, I've known you a long time since before you went to the Senate. You were a Supreme Court contender. You take words as seriously as any man who's ever served in the Senate. And every word you repeated that phrase, I do not believe that you used that accidentally. I just don't. It's, so, Tucker, as a result of my sloppy phrasing, it's caused a lot of people to misunderstand what I meant. Let me tell you what, what I meant to say. What I was referring to are, are the limited number of people who engaged in violent attacks against police officers. Now, I think you and I both agree that if you assault a police officer, you should go to jail. That's who I was talking about. And the reason the phrasing was sloppy is I have talked dozens, if not hundreds of times, I've drawn a distinction I wasn't saying that the thousands of peaceful protesters supporting Donald Trump are somehow terrorists. I wasn't saying the millions of, of, of patriots across the country supporting President Trump are terrorists. And that's what a lot of people have misunderstood well, that comment. Wait a I second, focused, but even you, wait, but hold on. What you just said doesn't make sense. So if somebody assaults a cop, he should be charged and go to jail. I couldn't agree more. We have said that for years. But that person's still not a terrorist. How many people have been charged with terrorism? on January so listen, 6th. Like, why'd you use that word? You're playing into the other side's characterization that, as Joe Kent just explained, allows them to define an entire population as foreign combatants. And you know that. So why'd you do so, it? So, so, Tucker, let me answer you directly. The, the reason I use that word for a decade, I have referred to people who violently assault police officers as terrorists. I've done so over and over and over again. If you look at all the assaults we've seen across the country, I've called that terrorism over and over again. That being said, Tucker, I agree with you. It was a mistake to say that yesterday, and the reason is what you just said, which is we've now had a year of Democrats and the media twisting words and trying to say that all of us are terrorists, trying to say you're a terrorist, I'm a terrorist, and so, look, I don't like people who, who assault cops, and, and, and I well, stand up and defend cops, and... and the reason I use that word is that's the word I've always used for people that violently attack cops. But in this context, I get why people were angry, because we've had a year of the corrupt corporate media and Democrats claiming anyone who, who objected to, to the election fraud. And by the way, remember what was happening during wait, 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 wait. Can, can I say, ask, hold on, you work in this, I just, I guess I just don't believe you. And I mean that with respect, because I have such respect for your acuity and your precision. And I've seen it on display. I've covered you as a reporter. I know how you speak. And you have sat there for a year and watched people use language to distort the events of that day. Intentionally. Insurrection. Coup. And it, of course it terrorism. was insurrection. And it, saying it's an insurrection is a political term. It's a lie. I've repeatedly denounced it. And, and, and when it comes to, look, I was focusing on what I normally say, that what you aired was a little 15 second snippet. What I normally say is violence is wrong, peaceful protest is right. If you engage in violence, you should be prosecuted. If you're speaking, you have a right to speak. I all say right. that all the time. Well, I, I meant and I agree. That snippet. So who's Ray Epps, by the way, since you are a senator? Like there, he and this other guy are clearly encouraging yeah. the crowd to commit crimes. Neither one has been arrested or charged. What is that? 
do you think? So I think that is a very good question. I don't know who Ray Epps is. I've seen that video multiple times. It's right? disturbing. He's clearly urging the crowd to violate the law. When you see the crowd start chanting, Fed, 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 for him to appear on the FBI's most wanted list and come off, it certainly suggests he was working for the FBI. That's not conclusive, but that's the obvious implication. And the Attorney General and the Department of Justice won't answer the question. Tucker, I can tell you, I joined with a number of other senators trying to get the Biden DOJ to answer the question, why so many January 6 prisoners are in solitary confinement, why they're be tr being treated so much worse than the Antifa rioters and, and, and the people who committed firebombing and, and a year of riots across the country. And this Biden DOJ won't go after them. But let me also make a quick point, Tucker. Remember, while, while thousands of people were standing up to defend this country on January 6, at that exact moment, I was standing on the Senate floor objecting to the election results, demanding that we, we, we impanel an election commission to consider evidence of voter fraud, and I brought together 11 senators to join me in supporting getting to the bottom of that. So, of course, it would be ridiculous for me to be saying that the people standing up and protesting to follow the law were somehow terrorists. I was talking about people who commit violence against cops, and you and I both agree, if you commit violence against cops, you should go to jail. Yeah, but you're not a terrorist. You know, you're not. You're a guy who's you know, a guy who I, I, a cop. Okay, so I, that there's a, there's a there's a legal difference, as you well know better than I do, since you were actually in the running for the Supreme Court. And there's a moral difference between a guy. Tucker, you know, the, the, right, the reason I time. use that word is for a decade. I've used that word for people that violently assault cops. I use that word all in 2020 for the Antifa and BLM terrorists that assaulted cops and firebomb police cars. But right. I agree, it was a mistake to use the word yesterday right. because the Democrats and the corporate media have so politicized it. They're yeah. trying to paint everyone as a terrorist, and it's oh, a lie. Exactly. And by the way, I've spoken out vocally against your exchange you just had. They want to paint us as Nazis. Yes, oh, that, was scary. that is what they're trying to do. And I just, look, I'm the one leading the fight in the Senate against this garbage. And it's what yeah. I have been doing, and it's what I'll continue doing. Well, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you very much, Senator Tapps of Texas.